Well, <laughs> I call it the junkyard, but uh, uh, I don't, he calls it art. And uh, boy, he got some weird stuff up there. Uh, I, I think it's a bunch of junk, but. <laughs> the dispatches reached out several times to talk with Gino Sintifani about his Morse Road home, but he has not responded. Morning, Gino. But his attorney did speak with us. Well, I think that he believes that his gardening and his art is something beautiful and aesthetic to look at. Others may disagree, and sometimes what he does comes into conflict with uh, any number of city codes. He believes that what he's doing is a good thing and that uh, the city is imposing its regulations upon him. Who put up the big white signs? Did he do that or did somebody else? I believe that Mr. Senefani put those up. Why? Well, because I think he's reached the point where he's been battling with the city for a very long time, and I think he has reached a point where he's about to clear his yard perhaps completely. I'm not completely sure he made that decision. I, I, I'm hesitant to predict that it will be gone, but I believe that that's what he has in mind, that he will give it away Others may help him move it. I'm not completely sure what he plans to do. Th this was his idea after my last meeting with him a few days ago, that uh, he probably couldn't do what the city was asking him to do and still be happy with his property.